Uh, today is our uh, second um, interview with the uh, uh, opera singer in Tia and uh, we will continue our um, conversation about um, uh, racism. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, what can you say about racism? What would you like to to tell about it? Well, I think uh, when we talk about racism and uh, often that the people think, okay, that's a hate speech in front of your face, right? But uh, nowadays, in many of the countries, especially uh, the developed countries, that people are how to say they 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 do not say this anymore because this this gonna be um, the obvious racism is somehow uh, politically incorrect, right? Then they somehow would say. Um, there will be some system that uh, limited the minorities and then people say if you don't like it leave you see this is a very common sentence in social media in everyday life even in school they will say if you don't like it okay if you don't like it here you can leave but this is exactly the nowadays racism Okay, you can say, no, 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 this is not a racism, this is a, uh, we are being preferential, okay, this is our preference. We just do not prefer these type of uh, people or these type of behaviors. Well, there is a great area there, right? And I'm not saying uh, being preferential is not, uh, it, it has to be considered as a racism, but you can be preferential by one's skill okay by one's um, professional uh, craft okay you can say you do this work wrong right and uh, i don't uh, and if you made a certain mistakes uh, over and over again we cannot use you anymore let's say this is being professional and you have your preference by saying this, but somehow it's very, you know, in, especially because I'm a singer, so you can say, okay, I just don't like to hire them, and uh, often they give you one example is that we also don't, we also refuse, uh, let's say, uh, for example, if I'm Chinese, let's say, I'm Chinese, and the Chinese company will say, you see, we reject you not because you're a foreigner, not because you're from Africa, you because you're dark skin or light skin. Well, because, you know, we also reject our own people. You see, this is another excuse. This is another reason. You refuse your own. It doesn't mean that you are not racist. You see, they're, they're trying to avoid the, the question. They're using another one and skip the topic. So this is not, which is often used here. Yeah, I was told when I talked about these um, Chinese or, or Korean singers or Japanese singers are not hired but they are really good and uh, I asked uh, them and uh, the natives who are not, who are, uh, who are Europeans and they said, you see, uh, we also reject our own people. No, 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 this is not, this is not, it doesn't mean that you're not racist. Okay, you, you are, you're not discriminating this certain uh, group of people. It doesn't mean that. Okay, uh, can you talk about um, uh, racism in China? Well, uh, does it exist in China? It is, and you know what? The most racist people who are discriminating Chinese are Chinese. Mm. You see? Because, you see, when we, when we, when you go to a, a let me tell, tell you an exam, a story that my, my English teacher, who's a, a second generation Chinese in the States, he's uh, American, but he has an Asian face, right? He has a Chinese face. 
He's working in China. He had his degree in uh, in LA, and he worked in China. So he was applying for a job in an international company in China. So he, everything was fine until his live interview. He went to the office and told the secretary that I was I'm, my name is Jason and I, I was the person who was on the phone and uh, I sent application. So now I have uh, um, obtained my uh, live interview, right? My job interview. And then the people say, "Whoa." Well, you are uh, you are Jason? Yes, I'm Jason. Well, we, we do know you are this. And he said, what? Asian. Chinese, right? Chinese face, right? Well, actually, we are looking for a white people. White American. Because in China, often that we see uh, white guys, okay, are more superior than Chinese. In China. In China, okay? In China. And overseas Chinese have somehow a similar attitude as well. And we were somehow educated, not in school, but maybe in the society, that you have to say only the good things about the white people. You have to always please the white people. The reason is, fit in. So we don't want any trouble, just lay low and then lower your head and lower your head, lower your attitude so you will fit in, you know, never talk back to the white people. You see what is this? Slavery mentality. But at the same time, we're discriminating our own people, you know. And when the white people, you see, there's even a small uh, business. I don't know if this working there, but you know, when the white people lost something, or let's say developed people, maybe from Japan or South Korea, they lost something. They went to the police. They get it soon. They get it. You know, they get those things back. If we go, never, or let's say very slow. You see. We treat foreigners, no, 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 let me correct, developed countries foreigners much better than Chinese, much better than Chinese. That's why the most racist people to Chinese are Chinese. <laughs> so if you ask, is, is racism in China exist? I would say yes, 100%. And also we are you know, this racism also kind of, you can say, okay, it's not about the racism, it's about uh, um, being snobbish. Okay, being snobbish. Yeah, you can say that. But you know, nowadays this, this racism is that, is what? It's what we think. This type of look, you know, what's behind this type of look? White people, rich, developed, educated, powerful. Black, Poor African slaves. See? Chinese, nah. Right? So, this is what, but, you know, when you tell, when you see the Asian, Asians or Asians are not different, you know, between Asians, they are not, we are not the same. If you are accepted Asian, by that I mean developed countries Asians, either you are uh, Asian American, or you're Japanese, right? You will have different treatment, right? We all have different treatment because uh, I can see that I, I personally have so many experience with that. You know, when we sit down, you know, with the Japanese, with the Korean, they, these guys don't speak English well, neither, like the other Chinese students, for instance. But. Uh, it seems only the Chinese students have more, get more negative reputations. Why? I would say not because we really behave that bad. You know, those kids are behaving that bad. Maybe they're not perfect students in the world. You know, but, but so was everyone. And then, but they are preferring the developed countries, Asians. And this is also this different variations of racism in our days. 
because they discriminate in people like uh, okay if you if maybe not even from the skin color is from what they think your skin color represent you see when you are black when you're I'm sorry I hate this word I hate to say black brown or practically speaking they, their, their skin color no not black you know this is a black you know this is the black you, your camera is a black right but they're not black I see like a chocolate color what is chocolate sweet you know healthy strong and you know and brown what is brown I would say the organic rice right healthy good for people coconuts color you know kind of a like a like a you know the skin if you're hairy let's say but of course and I'm, I'm not saying this is the, you know you have to use some kind of uh, colorful terminology but still you know it, it sounds ridiculous why, why do you, why don't you just call that person's name and ask their name and I'll tell the and use their name why do we have to say well that black guy you know why don't you say that guy that guy is very nice and that girl is very very nice. Why don't you say that? Why do you have to put a color there? Right? Why do you have to put a tag on a person? You know? Um, I must confess that you are maybe uh, only one person, uh, only one foreigner here who uh, talk um, openly about um, uh, social diseases like uh, uh, racism, nationalism and etc. But other people I know and I um, ask them, uh, I mean uh, first of all foreign students, uh, they uh, try to avoid these topics. They exactly. are, yes, they, um, they uh, uh, try to uh, conform to the society, yes. but not to uh, defend um, some ideals, some rights, mm, some uh, good things, mm -hmm. like um, uh, uh, maybe uh, people's friendship, uh, internationalism, mm -hmm. uh, tolerance, uh, equal rights, globalization, uh, and etc. etc. So they try to conform, and I think that uh, this is uh, this is a lost generation, maybe for uh, European civilization, where critical mind, where human rights and um, uh, education, mm -hmm. uh, enlightenment, is uh, our uh, main values. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that the the question is that like like Chinese, like I told before, uh, these international students probably they want to fit in. We don't want any trouble. We just come here. We just come here and then go. Or a uh, very little percentage of them might might stay for work or for a uh, uh, relationship. You know, to uh, make a family here. Uh, most of people actually like this, you know, we, we don't want any trouble, you know, we don't want to piss off authorities, you know, we don't want to say anything, you know, making any conflict. Um, so th this is the majority of people. This is the majority of, of, of our generation in every country. Um, but there, is, is, there is, a, is, a, is a bigger scale there. There's a bigger scale, that, like you thought. Uh, when when we are defining ourselves that do we still proud of being a human you know because if, if you you know imply your life to certain uh, society or a certain ideology which you are taught uh, it means that you have to make uh, uh, sacrifices, uh, a piece of your own soul out and take something else of the society in. I'm not saying this is bad because in Confucius, 
um, and uh, we also uh, consider that to contribute to the society and uh, um, you know making contributions to the world is that what is the one of our duty. This is the Confucian ideology. Um, but it doesn't mean that you don't have yourself. Right? It doesn't mean you don't have yourself. And often we say, uh, people will say, you know, you always complain. You guys always complain because you don't fit in. Okay, because you are poor, because you are loser. I see this in the social media a lot and also in the daily, daily conversation of somebody. Uh, they will say, you know, you guys do not fit in. You guys always whining about it. You know, human rights. What about your country? Okay, how about your, uh, in Africa, you guys are killing people? Okay, in Russia, you guys are so corrupted and in China, you guys eating dogs? You see, when, when, when this type of tip topic come out, they always say that, um, what about your own country? They are trying to beat you by saying that because your country has problems, that's why you cannot say anything about any problem. So fix your own problem first, and then you can tell me or tell us what to do. Is that so? Do, do you get this? Because you have to be perfect to say or to, um, to address any problem. But we all know there's nobody perfect. 